to BSG Chelly. Yeah, you're right, honey. I just said uh, I look so rough, my, my son said. What did you say, Bear? It's 10 in the morning. Chill out. Chill out, Mama. Good morning, my beautiful gal pals. I am on the go today. Um, I'm headed to my doctor's appointment for my foot. It is not healing as fast as it usually, as it should. Long story, whatever, whatever. This is a realistic day in the life of what I eat in a day in the life. <laughs> that don't even make sense. Oh, okay, so today is Friday. Um, my son, they didn't have school today. They don't have school Friday or Monday. So he's rocking with me today. Tell him my large achievement. His large achievement he would like to share. Do you want to share it? Yes. You got to speak up. Go. All right. So I've been trying for pretty much forever. And I have not been able to complete this challenge yet. But now, yesterday marked that day where I have gone three weeks as a good boy with nothing on my car. Absolutely nothing aside from a lemon with legs and a star with a smiley face. Yes, so he's been trying very hard. Oh, is tracking your face? Uh, he's been trying very hard to not get any marks on his card, like um, talking marks, incomplete work, things like that. So he accomplished it. So he is off groundation. Yeah. Mamas know we ground these babies. Do what we gotta do, discipline. Anywho, realistic of what we eat. We just got some McDonald's for breakfast. Me and Donovan, we usually, I usually share with him because I don't like for him to eat too much. Uh, and then I don't eat too much, so we typically share. Can you have what? No, because I can't eat a whole McGriddle. So I just need about two bites from your McGriddle. One bite of your hash brown and um some orange juice so please just eat just take two a little half. i can't i'm not hungry right now i don't know how much two bites okay just eat half oh. so this is real life this is how we do if i get food i'll be like okay we cut everything in half well we didn't used to no, we well obviously we didn't used to because I used to eat my own meal. He would eat his own meal, but he doesn't need to be eating that much. I don't eat that much, so we split these, and it's perfect. It's the perfect amount of food. I try to remind him, your stomach is only as big as your fist. Everybody, you know, our eyes are bigger than our stomach. We just want to eat, 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 eat. So as I'm learning good habits, well, McDonald's ain't good habits, but as I learn trying to teach him we don't need that much food we think we do we want to keep eating and keep eating but if we just eat half of what we normally eat we still will be full and we still will get you know the food that we need so this is breakfast half in mcdonald's with my son well my question is that i never like asking what if we are not full from the half that we we are though because your stomach he's asking what if we're not full from that half you are full you just think you're not full your tummy's only as big as your fist your fist is tiny honey your stomach is not that big you're just used to eating that much but we don't need to eat that much um i'm actually not even really hungry yet it's 9 38 in the morning wait what i thought it was 10 no my appointment's at 10 so we're trying to get there to be there at 10. So then I'll show you guys lunch. I'll show you guys dinner. I made, uh, last night me and my husband cooked. We made fried chicken, oh yams, God. macaronis, mashed potatoes, oh and green God. beans. We made all that food last night. So that's going to be my lunch today. And then last night I had like one chicken and then one scoop of everything. I didn't even eat it all, but oh, so good. So I'm going to show you. the same thing. One chicken. One yes. Chicken. Donovan had the same thing. It was delicious. Just enough. So I'm going to show you guys my lunch, dinner, um, and then keep you updated with health stuff. Oh, my last video I had, um, oh my God, that horrible rash and that horrible allergic reaction. That was the worst detergent oh. that was the worst probably the worst
worst feeling pain I've ever had in my life. It was horrible. I'm so glad it's over. Um, my scars, I'm, I don't know about scars or the whatever on my stomach, the burns on my stomach are still there. Um, it looks like they're trying to go away, but now I just got to get this foot in order. Um, get it going. So I will check in with you guys in a minute. Bye. <sighs> okay. We got 10 minutes till my appointment starts. Let's see what the boy left me. I should have gone once that much. I took two bites and it ended up like that. My bad. I took two bites. This is actually perfect though. Oh. You know what I was thinking also is I think I'm more surprised that I'm losing weight because I eat junk. Like I, I haven't been eating right. I haven't been exercising, you know, my foot. I haven't been doing anything, just been eating and working, and I'm still losing weight. I'm not even really hungry right now. I'll take the rest. Of Hush. Body. This is the McGriddle he left me. Hey, you said it was good. Though. No, it is. I'm just showing the my gal pals. Why is it so bright? Because of the sun. It's oh, there it goes. Bright. This is the size of the McGriddle. So this is about my breakfast. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's good. So, oh, let me turn off my car. So that's what's interesting is I'm still losing weight, but I'm not eating right. It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, if you get a surgery to lose weight, there's no need for you have to do anything if you're already losing weight. And that's not true. You what? got it's just a tool. It's not a miracle. And 75% of your stomach's gone, so you would have no other choice but to lose weight, even if you eat wrong. My doctor said there's going to be a point where I stop losing weight, and then I'm going to start gaining weight if I don't try to keep up with it. That's what I'm going to eat right now. Just those two bites. You ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going in our appointment. We will see y'all for lunch. For lunch. You gonna be here for lunch, Bear? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what yes. time are you planning on having lunch? Because I'm gonna be leaving. Hi. Hi, we're back. Okay, thank you. That's right, guys. We are back at Mickey D's. Big Papa wanted, we were on our way home from our doctor's office. Big Papa wanted some breakfast too, which is my husband. And I got a mocha frappe, a small mocha frappe, no whipped cream, extra shot of espresso. That is my drink. So now they're making me park over here. But you just got your Yeah. And see, look at this with weight loss. You get so saggy. Siggy, siggy. Hey, Kylie, what's your name? Okay, we got our mocha frappe, extra shot of espresso, but they put whipped cream. I don't usually get whipped cream. We don't usually get whipped cream, but since they brought it to my car, because I was in a parking spot, I can't be like, here, I don't, can you run this back inside and change it and run it back? I was just like, whatever. So, day in the life of what I eat in a day. Oh, that extra, that extra shot of espresso gives it that kick. So, I'm going to show y'all, I am not going to drink all of this. They don't have anything smaller than a small. So, I will show you how much of this I actually drink. My husband got a medium. Big Papa, La Mama. Okay. All right. I just wanted to talk real quick um, about weight loss. Hello. <laughs> uh, I am 149. Oh my God. Can you guys believe it? 149. I started at 260. If you're new here, my name is Chelly. I am, I had BSG 
7.21. I am 100 plus pounds down. Whenever I was 260, I did not think that my body could physically get to 150. <laughs> I was like, my husband was like, you know, oh, you'll probably get to 150. And I'm like, oh, 150 is way too low. My body, my body can't be, that's too skinny. And then I was like, 180. I was like, okay, 180. I feel like I'd be good. Now I'm 149. I had no idea my body is so tiny. I feel like a, a fragile duck. Look at my arms. Like, I'm so tiny. Like, I don't know. My my husband, like, the other day I was, like, doing something. He, like, patted me on my, my bottom. And he, like, slung me. And I was like, bro, you got to be careful. I'm not 260 pounds. Mind you, my husband's 6'4", 280. So one little pack had me flying across the room. But I don't think. I want to lose any more weight. I feel like it's so, I'm so tiny. Like if I just got rid of my stomach, that's probably like 20 pounds there. So really 120 pounds, 30 pounds. That, that number in my head seems like a tiny skinny person. I don't know if my body is meant to be a tiny skinny person. I don't know, just all the mental part of the surgery. Um, I just did not think that my body would still be losing weight. I, uh, what am I, a year and some change out? Hold on. Hold on real quick. Uh, so I was like, okay, my body will stop losing weight. 160s, 150s. Nope, I am waking up and still dropping them pounds. 149. So I might go to 140. I don't know, it's so weird because I used to think like, oh, I, I, I want to see the pounds drop, but now I'm like, ooh, I'm still losing weight. It's just going and going and going. It's kind of funny. So I just wanted to share that perspective on, you know, we want, we always want to see the pounds drop, but now that I'm just dropping and dropping, I'm like, I don't know if I want to just keep losing so much weight. I don't want to look weird and, you know. It's just, we, we just got to get used to it. I just wanted to share that with you. McDonald's. I drank probably like this much of my mocha frappe. And I am experiencing dumping syndrome. I don't know. <laughs> so just, this is the real life of what I eat in a day and what that food will do to me. Got me on the toilet. These are the vitamins that I took earlier. I'm trying to focus on bone health for my foot so it can heal faster. Um, I took them all at the same time earlier and got super nauseous, super sick. I think I was down for like an hour, 30 minutes to an hour because it was so much on my body. I probably shouldn't have done that. But what I eat in a day, vitamins. Alrighty, this is the lunch. Mashed potatoes, a little bit of green beans, macaroni, yams, and a slice of chicken. I mean a piece of chicken. So let's see how much I eat. Yeah, tore it up. One year post-op, tore it up. It was so good. All right, this is my dinner. It's exactly what my lunch was. <laughs> but uh, we made a whole bunch of food yesterday so we can have Love food words. for today so we didn't have to cook today or eat out today so that was the plan that is my How son's about, cheese? about the same as mine so dinner it is now eight o'clock and this is dinner but i'm using the day so this is dinner not as much as i ate for lunch it was probably the same size portion but not as much yeah i didn't um 
eat as much tonight. So this is one year post op. What I eat in a day? Why don't you come on? Devouring this? Yeah, he's devouring. It's so good. That's how it was on lunchtime. <laughs> I made cookies for the house. So I'm probably gonna have two of these by the time I go to bed. Not right now because I just ate. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. VSG oh, Chelly closing out. What I eat in a day. Appreciate you guys. Tired. Um, I know you guys love these what I eat in a day videos. So I try to. It's today with nothing good. <laughs> junk, junk, junk. Hey, but hey, chicken. Healthy. Chicken. Fried chicken is not healthy. Okay, but it's still chicken at the end of the day. Protein. We had lots of protein. So please um, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.